Success is part play, part stand-up about friendship, rivalry and redemption. And after a bit of a revamp, it is returning to the stage. To tell us more about this unmissable comedy, please welcome to the cafe writer and director Stephen Sinclair and one of the stars, Paul Rookshan. Welcome back. Yes. Uh, welcome, welcome, gentlemen. It's like royalty in here. It's very uh, lucky. Well. Yeah, really good to have you here. Uh, we've just been talking actually with Stephen about some of the things you've done. You know what I really remember from you vividly? Back in the day, I think it was a school trip, I went to see Ladies' Night, which is one of your babies, yeah. and Michael Hurst's butt. It was a naked <laughs> butt, and I was at school. I was like, oh, my goodness. A school trip? Yes, yeah. it was a school trip. I don't think they quite expected that. So yeah. well done for that. Oh, that's a, cheers. That's there an outstanding go. memory. I um, um, yeah. enabled uh, a whole, you know, legions of women to see... Um, you know, Michael Hurst's Michael physique. Hurst. <laughs> I think he was grateful for it as well, actually. Um, before we start talking about your show success, then we should talk also a little bit more about what you've done, apart from that outstanding memory for me. Uh, you were the co-writer on The Two Towers with Peter Jackson. I was indeed, yeah. From Walsh. That's yeah. quite extraordinary. Yeah. What was the experience like? Um, I remember it as being pretty, pretty intense. Uh, and there was a lot of pressure, of course, um, both from the studio, but also, you know, we really felt... Um, uh, we put pressure on ourselves because you know because we really felt we needed to be faithful to the books and, and knowing how many you know fans the books had we felt we yeah we just couldn't afford to you know and what take a fans long, they have step. too you don't want to mess with those fans well, exactly yeah, yeah. And, and, and Stephen when you were you know writing Meet the Feebles and those sorts of movies I love it. I love did them. you did you see in the future what was potentially going to happen did you know you're onto a good gravy train I um, guess. I was imp I was very impressed with Peter Jackson's first movie, um, Bad Taste. Right. And uh, in fact, I, I approached him with the uh, the basic idea for Brain Dead because I thought, wow. Um, yeah, with, I hadn't really considered doing a, a sort of zombie comedy movie before, but I thought, okay, this is guy is actually making stuff happen. So what about you know this idea? So and he liked it, and, and we ran with that. And of course, he had Meet the Feebles, which has its own unique niche mm. in, uh, in New Zealand film. If you haven't watched those, you need to go and find those. Those are classic New Zealand shows, they really are. Um, so Paul, tell us a little bit about success. Um, it is a groundbreaking theatrical experience about stand-up comedy. Uh, it's basically just takes you behind the scenes of um, what happens when you're off stage and you're uh, trying to uh, find that next big show, that next big hit. Um, that'll that'll make you famous, uh, and the successes of some and failures of others, and lack of progression, and um, so pretty much your life. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, but more on the um, my life, more on the sort of the less successful comedian <laughs> side. Oh, God. So, um, so it's good to yeah. play a successful comic in the show because I get to explore what it really could be like. Mm. Right. Okay. Um, the, character, the character of Carl is just, just um drug addled out of control um, stand-up comedian. So when I was casting, I thought, now who do I know who's like that? <laughs> <laughs> I see one name comes to mind. <laughs> and, 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 and he's just referring to uh, me having a call, you see, and um, he just thinks that that's what I'm like. <laughs> so, so, well, I assume it's, uh, you know, it's uh, after a five-day you know, Coke binge. But, you know, you don't, I don't do, have to, don't I have do, to comment on I, I do love Coca-Cola. It is, it is amazing. <laughs> I can't so, get so, a bit of a feel how it's going to be. Yeah, <laughs> so, so, so Carl effectively uh, has you know, a good time in America but then decides to come back to New Zealand. And yeah. then yeah. He hooks up with other comedians and he's flatting with them and the fun and hilarity ensues from there. Uh, where does the stand-up part of the show happen? Is it? You know? So the sh throughout the show you've basically got the, um, the three comics, um, Carl, Derek and Jules, mm -hmm. and um, th as the show goes on it cleverly interweaves the stand-up routines that they've all individually are performing. Um, one at the comedy club, um, another one at a gala appearance. Right. And um, the other one at a redemption show Ooh. in uh, in Las Vegas, but I, I'm going to give too much away if I oh, say you don't want to spoil more. it. So, right. so Steve, when yeah. you're writing these things and you're thinking about casting, do you have people in mind? Like you've mentioned, Paul, do you actually have an idea of what uh, you want to look like? Sometimes, because um, this is your first. This, you're new to this, aren't you? But you did this back in 2015. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Premiered. So bring. Yeah, we had a great season then. So I thought I'll, I'll bring it back, and um, and Paul was keen to do it. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. It's so a great we show. Of, we sort of ran with it. It's a great show. Yeah, I mean, I, I really like, um, I like sort of mixing it up in terms of the kind of, like, um, in terms of, like, uh, live performance. Um, and in this case, like, it's like a conventional comedy, but it's also got stand-up routines peppered through it. Um, right. Yeah. And, and how'd you update it? From 2015 to 2017, have you had to make many changes? Well, this is a really good time to put it on, because, I mean, because I'm a kind of frustrated political satirist as well. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought this is an ex excellent ep opportunity to actually... You'd be changing um, it every day, wouldn't you, at the moment? Well, I did warn... Um, 
uh, the actor Carlos, look, mate, you know, <laughs> we're not going to be locking this off to the script off two weeks out because, you know, something dramatic might change. You know, Jacinda Ardern might be fired in the, in, the, in, the, in the days leading up to the election. So yeah, we have to keep it flexible. Be prepared to learn a lot more. Flexible. So where um, are you planning on taking the show? Um, well, we're opening at the Comedy Club, uh, the classic comedy club in Queen Street, which is um, venue, timely. In fact, yeah, Scott, who runs the place, was excited about it uh, because he, it's been it's it's their twentieth anniversary yeah. for uh, you know they've been entertaining people with stand-up basically for twenty years, and he wanted to do something a little bit different. So, so you know, rather than just more straight stand-up, here's a show about stand-up. So yeah, you can go, yeah, as Paul was saying, you can go behind the scenes and. To see how screwed up, you know, comedians really are. <laughs> right. but, it, but, it's, but it's also about that. There's also a bit of a homage, I think, to the to the mm. classic mm. and the comedy industry over the last 20 years within the show. Um, one of the routines that um, that Steve and I were writing um, for the show is specifically to do with, you know, the comedians that have gone through the doors and been on the stage in the classic, and sort mm. of paying a homage to everyone from, yeah. you know, um, you and Gilmore may he rest in peace and. Um, some of the other great comedians that have all performed on the stage there. So it's going to be excellent. I'm sure there's going to yeah. be a lot of comedians watching, going, "Oh, is that based on me or not?" <laughs> I'm really looking forward to it. Thank you guys for yeah. coming in. Thank you. Oh, awesome. Thanks. If you would like more details to get along to success, head along to the iTicket website www.iticket.co.nz. All right, go and see it.